I'm about to launch myself onto a surface I've never driven on before, on tyres I've never driven on before, in a 400 horsepower four-wheel drive rally car. The chances of going from hero to zero are still pretty high. I think Thief is terrified because it's something new, new surface. He didn't drive a car on the Cobus, uh, so I think he's terrified. I will keep an eye on him, I promise. Well, maybe not terrified, Blase, but I was certainly a long way out of my comfort zone. However, there could be no turning back now. The tyre warmers were whipped off and I made my way to the start line while the classic legends performed their parade run. And once there, I waited. And waited. And waited. 30 minutes passed and every degree of heat had now disappeared from my tyres. These aren't going to be stone gold now. And to add to my anxiety, the temperature had dropped even lower. So now I didn't know whether I'd be tackling wet roads or icy ones. But after an age, we finally got the countdown to go. Go, oh, go. Oh. Turn right to the barrel. Left carpet. I headed towards the first big test, a barrel that required a full 360 degree circuit. To get around this neatly, I need to spin up the back wheels and get the car properly sideways. But I didn't give it enough commitment. The rear wheels gripped and plunged me into an embarrassing understeer. Keep right. I recovered just. I told right. you I'd make a cock up of it. But an even greater concern lay ahead the cobbles. And even though I tiptoed through the first big bend, there was virtually no grip. Yeah, no grip at all. Keep right. I was now heading for another tight turn around a barrel. Could I make a better job of it this time? Thankfully, yes. Then it was back onto the cobbles, but this time I knew what to expect. Delicately. And we are going to the top. With confidence growing, I felt I could pick up the pace but I still had to get to the finish line, so I wasn't prepared to take risks. It's got this high gears because they put this gearbox in, so I'm neither first nor second. To the gate, left turkey. The gear ratios might not have been ideal, but I was neat and tidy through the inflatable. Elegant the Gobius, keep left. Elegant the... I left the cobbles for the final time, and now there were just two more obstacles to negotiate. Left carpet. To the barrel. Left carpet. And to the finish. Whoa, we survived! Against all the odds, we got to the end in one piece. Relief doesn't describe it. Well, I looked a bit of a Mickey Mouse on the first big roundabout, <laughs> but then we got going and all the other handbrakes were really good. Pebbles I just backed off. I mean, I was, could go so much faster, but I couldn't trust what I could grip. That was, thanks to Boisier, we survived. <laughs> it was great fun to be a co-driver when you see all of these people, all of these flashes. I cannot describe it better, but everybody, which didn't see that, you need to come to Warsaw and see this special stage on Barburka Rally. A time of 2 minutes 43 might have left me some 20 seconds off the eventual winner, but with both car and my pride intact, I could now relax and enjoy the rest of the show. The Barburka might be over for another year, but I'm sure the party will go on long into the night. I'm just not quite sure I'll make the finish line. Power on it, plows back into an understeer. Give it a flick, get it sideways, but then the front end takes control and it washes.